Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review. And today is another juggling prop review. I'm going to be reviewing the Juggle Dream Trainer Club from Cascade Juggling. Actually, just to clarify, uh, it was, they're from Juggle Dream, uh, sent to me from Cascade Juggling. I know it's a very unprofessional way to start, but there it is. Before we do that, can you please like and subscribe, check out cardmagiccourse.com. Do that. It's very, very good. Don't take my word for it. I'm very biased. Um, do have a look at cardmagiccourse.com. Look at the testimonials and ask any questions you'd like. It's all downloadable. There's new stuff going on every single week. There's live sessions which we upload every week and it's a wonderful community. So check it out. I'm very, very proud of it. Cardmagiccourse.com if you want a free uh, spread card download, the most powerful moving card magic, a course on the download, uh, a course on the download, a course on the cull, a download course on the cull, that's better Steve, uh, go to cardmagicalscom forward slash cull. Right, got there in the end. Right, so I did a video on juggling balls, now juggling clubs, and a lot of people would learn to juggle balls first, but very quickly want to go on to clubs because it feels very different and it feels, I love juggling clubs, there's something more physical about it. It's kind of a bit more of a workout and again, great flow experience. Um, and I love it. And, and like I said in the last video, I've got way back into things. Do watch the video on the juggling balls that I reviewed, the, the, uh, the thuds, Cascade Classics. So loads of people ask me about this. They want to learn clubs. Where do they get them? When I was learning in the 90s, the, the, the beginner's club was the beard club. They're a great club, but they always felt that they span really differently from the more advanced clubs. They felt a little bit kind. They felt like a beginner's club. I love them. Don't get me wrong. They're great. Really, really hardy. And you can chuck them around in gale force winds back then. Uh, they wouldn't go anywhere. I'm sure that's not quite true. But, um, but they're great and, and they've lasted forever. Uh, and they've tried to, well, they, they have made a club that's a beginner's club, but also, again, good for intermediate advanced performers. It feels, it juggles the same as my Henry's clubs that I use. I, I juggle Henry's, have done for years. A uh, more expensive club, a lot more expensive, and, uh, and not really a beginner's club. And these, again, what they're doing is they're bringing out stuff that anybody could juggle, not just a beginner, so something you could keep for ages and ages and ages, no matter how long you do it, until, if you want to, you can sort of upgrade. And these are great. They're a one-piece club. They are... They feel really nice. They, they've got the sort of look of a professional club, you know? Like if, I remember, you know, back in the 90s, people with white clubs on stage, beautiful looking things flying around. And I've got some white Henrys on the way, actually, um, for stage. And they feel lovely. Now, you might think, if you're not a juggler, what's the difference in feel? There's a kind of flow to a spin of a club. And it, it, I don't know what it is, but it's just a kind of substantial thing when a club spins right, it lands right, and you catch it right, and it's not... Like with the beard ones, again, I, used to, I didn't like them. They had these squashy handles and they didn't feel like elegant to me. And again, that's fine if you're a beginner, but, uh, or it can be. But these are really nice. I haven't got much space here. I will have some footage, but they just, the, the test for me is whether I can, I can chuck a couple of doubles. And I'm so worried about my very expensive camera. Uh, and let me see if I can do a triple. Oh yeah, okay. And now I've got a very low ceiling. And again, a club that hasn't got a really good spin, I won't be able to sit here and do this. I'll kind of, maybe it's just what I'm used to, but again, these feel really, really nice. Um, another test for me is whether they will flourish well and kind of, they've, they've got a kind of, again, I'm trying to sort of multitask here. But things like this, again, a, a, a club that isn't well balanced, I won't be able to do this. And I haven't spent that much time with these. Uh, and you know, if I catch and flourish, you know, they just, they, they chuck it out well, they feel really nice, and they look like a professional club. The only thing about them is, it, again, because they're cheaper clubs, they have got a slightly more plasticky feel to them. And that is, it's a feel thing. I don't know, obviously I haven't juggled these for the last year. I don't know how long they'll last. I'm sure they'll last pretty well. I can't see any reason why they won't. But they are quite light. So if you're out there in the wind, they're going to get thrown around quite a lot. And the thing about clubs, even my big Henry's Albatross that are like, heavy clubs if it's windy i can't really juggle them so it's kind of the case with most clubs so actually there was a bit of a breeze and they didn't get chucked around much they're kind of heavier than they feel and like i said they are um a bit on the plasticky side but they're a beginner's club that's kind of what they're like and um and they're nice to juggle so there you go so that's all to say about them any questions i'm sure there's more to say uh, that i just haven't covered 
look in the comments and we will uh, either cover that on a live show or I'll do another video following this. Like, subscribe, check out Card Magic Course and uh, take care. Cheers. Bye.